Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I just hope it's a satisfactory video for you guys. Because I'm just trying my best to make things go fluently and such. And I have to do you guys some kind of favor. For this video, I will introduce three characters per se, even though one of them is actually a species. So if you guys bear with me, I will introduce them to you. Here's the first one. Jenny. Real name, Jenny Farr. Height, 7 feet, varied. Weight, 312 pounds, varied. Status, villain turned hero and giant villain fighter. Base, Africa, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, willful and defensive. She recently would do anything to protect the innocents from oversized threats. Lethality, highly dangerous to most opponents. Weaknesses, Misogyny and lack of awareness. Powers. She has mass alteration, martial arts, acute senses, and high agility. She wields a single-edged sword made of silver and iron. She can alter, also alter her genetic design. For example, change into a stick figure, turn immensely plump, bulge with muscles, become two-dimensional, and alter the mass of specific parts of her body. If that makes any sense to you guys. Eyes, bright green, hair, deep black, and flowing. Origin. The evil voodoo once examined the heroic Queen Conga of the Alpha Earth and decided to make a similar being to eliminate the United States. Voodoo soon used her dark magic to construct a powerful jungle girl that was since named Jenny. After being commanded by the witch doctor to destroy Paris, Jenny eventually got defeated by a visiting Colossa, who convinced her that she could do better than Voodoo intended. After Jenny was forgiven by the public, Colossa also stated that Jenny's last name should be Far. Nowadays, Jenny Farr would do all that is needed to protect the innocents from a vengeful voodoo, along with countless other villains. Costume. She wears a green latex suit that shifts with her. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes. Original inspiration, jungle warriors. This next one is the species that I mentioned earlier, and I hope you guys could bear with me. Kaijurikans. Real name, varied. Height, 5 feet to 7 feet. Weight, 112 pounds to 307 pounds. Status, hero, and offspring of Kaijurikas. Base, mobile. Intelligence, varied. Behavior. They all have varied personalities, but are all devoted to their mother. They mostly do whatever she tells them to do. Lethality. Extremely deadly alone or in a group. When you see a few Kaijirikans in sight, there's still a chance that their mother is nearby. Weaknesses. They have no healing factor, despite their bloodline. Powers. They have similar powers as their mother. They occasionally travel in groups for better odds and survival. Eyes deep red, hair buried. Origin. At one point, people were wondering why the summer solstice seemed to make the heroic Hygericus overly excited. One day, Pim and Colossa traveled to a Saharan beach and found that Hygericus was guarding a few thousand eggs that appeared humanoid-sized. She then told the two that she's a hermaphrodite and was trying to protect her young but didn't want to be judged in terms of the credibility of her maternity. Kaijirikas then asked Pim and Colossa to protect the eggs while she went out to get food. 
and while she was gone, the eggs hatched into adolescent human-sized versions, humanoid-sized versions of their reptilian mother in both genders. Unfortunately, a swarm of Egyptian doom worms arrived and tried to attack them, and Pemim Colossus succeeded at warding them off just to do Kyjericus a favor. Nowadays, Kyjericus would normally provide for her young, at least until they become independent and decide to go off on their own. Costume They are mostly covered with green scales. Teams, solitary, with Kyjericus and other heroes. Original inspiration, the baby Zillas. This is the last character, and this one I feel a bit hesitant in introducing to you guys because I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea. I admit it's a bit controversial, and I hope you guys could forgive me about it. I'm just trying to make things work. Lady Confederate. Real name, Confederate States of America. Height and weight varied. Status anti-hero and rival of Lady America. Base, her destined boundaries. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, willful and moody. She recently would help Lady America with different villainous problems, though she's not happy about it. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, cosmic goddesses and being rivaled. Powers, she possesses the same powers as Lady America. Eyes, bright blue, hair, Red, white, and blue in shoulder length. Origin. From 1859 to 1865, the South rebelled against the North and started the American Civil War, which ended with the South losing the rebellion. By the present day, the spirit of the South got unlonely constructed into a physical humanoid form, being given the name Lady Confederate. After trying to get her revenge on Lady America, the otherworldly Nazi kaiju known as Axis arrived in the default Earth in another attempt to destroy the U.S., making Lady Confederate realize that Lady America would always do better than her southern counterpart. After defeating the tyrannical Axis, Lady Confederate vowed with Lady America to never again defy the intentions of the North though Lady Confederate was openly discouraged about it. Costume. She wears clothes that match her forever rejected flag. Teams, solitary, with Lady America, and other heroes. Origin inspiration, the Confederate States of America. Well, uh, those are the three characters and such, in a sense, and, um... I hope it's satisfactory for you guys, and I hope there isn't anything going out of place. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And I hope you guys have a fine, like, rest of the month and such, and so forth. And I hope you guys have some level of satisfaction with this podcast and so far. You know? So until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hope you guys have a fine time and such. Until next time, in transmission.